Hey, howdy there, folks. Elton here, aka Retro Old School. And, uh, yeah, they did a number here on Laurier Boulevard, uh, Laurier Avenue here in the Outremont sector of Montreal. And uh, that's Park Avenue there. And I'm going to do a walk here on one of the side streets, which are residential, and I don't know which one. So I'm just going to basically, I think, make a left on whatever the next street is. And uh, as we say in French, uh, on verra. We shall see what we shall see. Can you dig it? Ooh. Yeah, so they're going to do this fucking shit too at my street sometime soon. In June, I was told by a city inspector, that's going to be fucking great. Two months of misery and noise. Because my fucking building is like this. It's just literally right on the sidewalk. There's no green space. A fucking truck goes by, whole building shakes. It's just marvelous. I can't believe I've actually lived there almost five years. Sometimes in a way I feel like it's a sort of a prison sentence, specifically in the winter. I'm going to let this woman go by here. I don't want to hold anyone back. Look at that charming old house. Wow, is that original? Like the style, I mean, obviously the roof and all that shit was changed, windows. But that is just beautiful. It almost doesn't seem like it fits in the street. I've never noticed it before. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I don't think I've ever actually filmed a walk on this street. Maybe I should just continue here by going on the other side and get a better view, but I can't even fucking cross the other side, so... Fuck it. We'll just go on this street here where that woman just turned. Toined. Yeah, major. Major. Well, we've still got one lane open there, right? Eh? God damn. Okay, good. There's a street sign here right on. Laurier and oh Hutchison yeah right on Hutchison okay now this is a part of town I forgot to mention where a lot of Hasidic Jews live here so they have their dreidels and all that and they look very old school and kids look like they're Amish whatever but uh, I think it's right, right uh, frankly I think that's rather fascinating because in a way they are like the Amish they're dressed in a very old way of, of dressing I mean there's old school and then there's really old school you know god don't tell me that street ends over there well you know what fuck it then it's gonna be a street just a, a walk around here and the uh this is the mile end sector of the city i like that garage so whatever we'll just float around different streets here i'll show you different you can see different architecture different designs mostly old which i like more than the new and uh yeah it's not a it's never a poor part of the city but uh yeah, pretty much middle class you know And over there, that's uh, St. Joseph uh, Boulevard St. Joseph, huh? you know. Eh, we'll take a walk this way, I guess. Let's see if we can see here. Because you belong to the city. You belong to the night. Living. Na -na 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 -na. Oh, wow, that's clever. Under the neon lights. That's a good way to have something uh, so it doesn't uh, get uh, stolen. I don't even know what street I'm on here. Oh god, I love these old houses and these old buildings. They're so charming. So beautiful. You know, I can imagine there must be some people, maybe they've been living here their whole life even. Yeah, you know, like, I don't know, like 80 years or something. Bought the house new in like 1930 or something. But uh, can you imagine how much of an increase in value on these properties? Holy cow. Not that I'm in property management or anything like that, but still and uh what's uh, so we passed park avenue what's after park avenue it's um i think it's uh damn what's the name of that street i can't remember shit oh man i was just telling my friend before that uh you know those electric scooters there you uh, see sometimes driving around what is with these scooters like really they had to put that you know the turn signal once they they turn that on they have this annoying, like, like a beep, 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 and it's so loud. It, it, it's just like so many things today. It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's absolutely ridiculous. Just an exaggeration, like so many goddamn things of today. Like all these colorless cars, for example. You know? Oh, it is such a perfect, beautiful day. I mean, really? It doesn't get better than that. Yeah. You belong to the city. You belong to the night. 
I don't know why I can't get that song in my head. I guess because I live here in the city. I both. Oh yeah, now, oh yeah, Kelps, right, where, that's a very long street, actually. Oh yeah, that runs north and south, man, that goes far away. Corner of Edouard Charles Street, La Rue Edouard Charles. And I think I will go southward. Because, and of course, not surprisingly, like everywhere, there is lots of construction. Not surprisingly. Oh yeah, I could live around here pretty easily, no problem. You know. Oh, look at that beautiful garage door. Look how everything they made with arches back then. It was all rounded at the top. That's amazing. Look how beautiful that is. That is fantastic. Man, I had never seen garage doors like that before. See, that's exactly why I like to film these walks, is when you find stuff you never see, or you practically never see, you know? It's like the old cars that I love. It's the same thing. It's stuff you never see, or... Like when you haven't seen a fucking, uh, I don't know, like my friend today, Ellie, I showed him this, like, what was it, an 85 to 89 Mazda, Mazda 323 with only 67,000 miles on it. Man, that's a huge house. When you, when's the last time you saw one of those, you know? They're extinct. Extinct. Oh, I know this street. This street is... No, oh yeah, it's St. Joseph, right? I was going to say St. Viet or, or Bernard, it looks like it anyway. And, uh... Yeah, at the height of rush hour. And I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going to go. I'm going to go... Oh, tabarnak, I just realized where I am. That street over there, that's Côte St. Catherine. La Rue Côte St. Catherine. You know what? Let's go that way. Why not? I'll show you some of the more expensive homes that you could see, sort of, you know? Ah, Land Rover, typical black. Or, you know what, do I want to go down here, actually? Because if I go that way, then I'm going to end up in Westmount, eh? I don't know. I'm not sure now. Now, you know what, fuck, let's go back down this way. There's a big Jaguar right there, eh? I just saw one of these drive by 20 minutes ago. I fucking uh, modified mufflers, man. Heavy duty, brother. See, some people would be afraid to film in areas like this because there's a lot of people with money around here. And then, as I mentioned, of course, there's the ascetic Jews that there's a high, a high number of them here, you know, and they're very, um, I don't know, paranoid, protective people. Can't blame them, of course, because of all these fucking crazy neo-Nazi type people, you know? Look at that with the separate lettings, letterings. Isn't that beautiful? Biltmore. Kind of reminds me of Peterbilt. You don't see many old cars around here, though, unfortunately. Um, I know. I've, uh, I've looked around. Look, I'll go down here and take a look. But I do remember one time I was around here somewhere years ago, and I saw a 79 Oldsmobile 98 Regency, and it was in good shape. Wish I'd seen it again, but not the best years for General Motors quality, so uh, I don't know if it survived. Mind you, come to think of it, there's a friend of mine I know, I just saw his car on Kijiji last night and it's for sale. Look at that, is that a church? Wow, that's an odd design, eh? Odd in the sense that it's very, um, it just looks like a normal building with, with, with rounded windows. You know? Hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice, beautiful day. Good for the soul, good for the mind. And if you're walking around or getting physical and running or whatever, good for the body. Yeah. A lot of places for sale, I'm noticing, though, it seems. <clears throat> People are uh, making an exodus, maybe from the city, eh? Look at the towers in that building. Oh, look at this fucking Porsche Carrera, man. Wow. And it's white. It's a rare color for that car. Usually these cars are black, gray, or silver. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now this street here, by the way, Boulevard Saint-Joseph, obviously is really old. But it does become a boulevard, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to zoom in here in just in a second. i show you. Show you what I mean. Yeah. And what's interesting is, although it's a boulevard, and they made it into a boulevard. I don't know when, but the houses over there are also sort of like these ones too. They're not, they're not, they don't look cheap, you know what I mean? They don't look poor, so uh, they're smaller, I think, a lot of them, but just typical vintage Montreal homes, I guess. 
you know, back on Hutchison in a very old apartment building with fire escapes. Yeah. No fucking old cars around here, man. Well, of course, one of the reasons why, though, too, is because all these homes you see, most of them don't have any garages. It's a nicer version of the Infinity, eh? Doesn't look rusted either, actually. Hmm. Q50, Q60? Whatever. Okay, finally an old car. Look at this old Celica here. Wow. Look at the condition of this thing. Beautiful. Look at that. Holy cow, that's like, uh, oh, 80, uh, 87, 88, 89, 90? Look at this, the fuck does that say? Racing something. Oh, man, that's sweet. God damn, how the hell did this thing stay so beautiful? Or was it a rust bucket? I doubt it. Probably came from out west or the south where cars don't rust so easily. Nice. Like a lot of cities, Montrealers love fucking motorcycles. Oh my god. And biking. Lots of biking. Vintage. And there's the scrap over there. STM scrap bus over there. Coming up to uh, back to uh, Park Avenue. I think I'm going to end it here actually. Frankly. Might take a walk down Park Avenue. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Man, that is a crazy bike. Look at that. <whistles> Holy shit, man. I'd be surprised if a guy who owns a bike like that don't have any tattoos on him. <laughs> That's a snide remark, eh? That could be. Look at that. A scaffolding with flowers. Ah, there's something I've never seen before. That's a good idea. Look at that. That's smart. I dig it. I added color to all these colorless cars here, you know. Well, I'm gonna stop here and see how it looks on the time on this uh, camera here. Busy, busy Avenue du Parc. But I call it Park Avenue. I think Park Avenue sounds better. <laughs>